This is English shorthand dictation number 272 and the dictation speed is 120 words per minute. Ready? Start. Honorable Chairman Sir, I come from Kerala which is a model state regarding the health matters. Sir, I do not want to politicize this issue. My Honorable Friend Mr. Sinha made his speech and left the house. He only politicized this matter and actually there was no need to bring in political formulations. I congratulate Professor Jha for bringing this private member's bill. If education can be brought as a fundamental right, there is no harm in bringing health, which is a cardinal subject. Though it is part of the right to life, health needs to be given the importance that it deserves. The biggest problem is resources. Our Honorable Minister is a very straightforward minister. He is very genuine. He wants to do something. We know that. But he is unable to do because of lack of resources. I will not blame him individually. The only thing is that he has to speak up. He has to tell the leadership that more allocation has to be given to the health sector. Sir, thousands of people died without getting access to health. Even those people who got access to hospitals died because there was no oxygen. I do not want to remind the house of those days. Sir, the ruling party member was very elaborate with regard to the improvements that have happened to the health sector. Sir, let me just read out one statistic. There was a briefing by the external affairs minister for the leaders of all parties with regard to Sri Lanka. Sir, with regard to health, I would just point out one index. We have 1.4 hospital beds per thousand patients against the world average of 2.9. Sri Lanka has three hospital beds per thousand patients. We talk about Sri Lanka. There are sectors where we lag behind. We need to have more focus, more resources. Sir, if at all you want to improve this, you should have at least two beds per thousand patients. For that, we need to open at least 5,000 more hospitals with 200 beds. Do we have the resources? Sir, there has been a lot of talk about PMJAY. Mr. Sinha was kind enough to give us a lecture on that. Sir, what has happened to the allocation? The allocation has been drastically reduced. Even the allocated amount has not been spent. Let the minister check the economic survey. Let him just go through the 15th Finance Commission report. I only want the minister to go through some documents. Let him just go to the economic survey, the National Family Health Survey, the 15th Finance Commission report and the Standing Committee report. If he puts together these four documents, that will give the real picture of the health. My Honorable Friend from Aam Admi Party has been harping on the Mohalla Clinic here and his leader has been coming to Kerala to lecture us. Sir, 60 years back, we started these primary health centers. There is a health center in every village. This is something to guide and give inputs to the minister. The biggest problem in this country is that 70% of our people depend on the private sector. Only 30% go to the government sector. It is just the other way round in Kerala. In Kerala, 80% of the health needs are catered to by the government sector and just 20% by the private sector.
there is one more thing during the covid 19 pandemic 95 percent of the covid 19 patients were treated free of cost by the government sector in kerala just five percent of them went to the private sector sir let us not grope in the dark i would like to make one more point here when compared to the previous revised estimates there has been hardly a 0.2 percent increase despite the outbreak of covid 19 pandemic which took the lives of 50 lakh people there was a health emergency in the country but what was the increase in the health budget it was just 0.2 percent there is one more point when they talk about the budgetary allocation on health just look at how they mop up the resources they are mopping up a huge amount of approximately rupees 50000 crore because of the 4% cess that they are imposing on income tax and corporation tax they are not allocating money but they have imposed a cess on income tax and corporation tax they have imposed another cess on import duty even then they did not do any justice to the health sector sir i would just wind up my speech in a few minutes the finance commission says that 14 percent of the people borrow money to go to the hospitals every year six crore people are plunged into poverty because they approach hospitals for their health needs it is a shame on this country we have to think about this we are pushing people to poverty they have nowhere to go to fulfill their health needs we must consider this as a fundamental right i would earnestly invite the honorable minister to visit kerala and see what we have done honorable chairman sir first of all i thank professor jha for having brought up this subject he has brought up not just the subject of health but also the vices the anguish and the pain of the poor and the middle class people who suffer because of lack of quality health care mrs rajni just mentioned what she had to undergo in an emergency despite being a member of parliament i think we have something to learn from what she spoke here even i have introduced a bill in this house called the universal health care bill 2021 as mentioned by many members here article 21 says that the right to life includes the right to health but i think we need to make a distinction here we need to provide more emphasis to the right to health because without that the entire country is suffering if the country has to enjoy real wealth it has to be in good mental and physical health the population of a nation can be productive only if its individuals are physically and mentally healthy the only place where you have to live is your body so it should be taken care of unfortunately the current healthcare system in india reflects an economic and a social gap in accessing quality health care and draws attention to further measures that are required to be taken by the central government to assure health to all its citizens just as the right to education act was passed for providing free and compulsory education to all the children of the country a bill on the right to health must be brought in the house if this bill is not accepted the government must come in with the bill providing free health care 
to all the citizens of India. Several honorable members have already mentioned that the expenditure on health is only 1.4% of the gross domestic product.